This is another Disney podcast production. Welcome to this episode of Reimagineer It, where we take your favorite Disney attractions, strap them to a SpaceX rocket, and send them to the moon. Let's do it. That's a whole different level, man. That's uh, I mean, that's, I mean, there was a launch yesterday, so I know I texted you. I know I, I, was... I, I randomly was in between <laughs> shows and what I like had a 10 minute break and like I went to YouTube, hit it and it was like four minutes to launch. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I try to get outside for those. There's a little cloudy yesterday and I'm not sure I'd have been able to see it yesterday, but the night launches are pretty epic because oh, we can man. open our, the blinds in our bedroom and see the launch. We don't even have to go outside to watch it. So it's pretty, it's pretty that's, good. It's, a tough it's pretty life. good. It's a yeah. rough life. We have, uh, well, again, we live in Virginia. And so Wallops Island, which is another big launch site for a lot of things that go using NASA. I don't know if SpaceX uses that or not, but anyway, there was one this week that we completely forgot about. <laughs> Beautiful, clear see- night. And missed it. I did see that. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, man. Reimagineer yeah. it where, <laughs> Where this week's attraction is not even an attraction. It's no. a place you visit and stay and sleep and, and do things. Yeah. And shower and everything there is ginormous. Everything is large, large and in charge, but that's large all right. Cause large. we're getting rid of it. Yeah. It's on its way to space with the rest of the Starlink satellites. That's right. It's not <laughs> going to make your internet any better, but it's going. <laughs> Okay, All Star Sports. Ooh. Now, when we talked about this one, this obviously, if you're familiar with this resort, it it encompasses three actual resorts that are right next to each other. And I was like, well, let's just do sports because personally, I like movies and I like music. I've stayed at music a lot over the years, and I'm actually staying at movies when we go there for the 50th. So, um, I just, I like the way they're themed. I like the giant things, but, but the sports is just kind of doesn't work for me. Cause I'm like, think about it, right? You've got, they've built all-star sports, but in the movies resort, they put the mighty ducks thing. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> that, that, could, that could encompass both sports and movies. Yes. So, I mean, I guess, I guess movies won. I guess I should know which side that's on to know if it's actually closest to the movie side or the music side, it would make sense if it was, it would feel like it's on movies property and sports property. Maybe they thought that through. Probably. Probably. Okay. Let's go over some history of a hotel. That sounds like fun. (laughs) (laughs) I can't wait. (laughs) Strap in folks. We're going to space. Okay. Uh, Disney's all star sports resort um, is like I said, one of five value resorts that are on Disney property. The other flo- other four, we already mentioned a couple of them, Disney's All-Star Music, Disney's All-Star, Mo- All-Star Movies, Disney's Pop Century, and Disney's Art of Animation. So those are your five, air quotes coming, value resorts. They haven't felt value in the last couple of years, in my opinion. But that's a different topic or a different show. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Now, here's what's kind of interesting fact that I found out looking at this. This is These are the only hotels that are located in Osceola County. The rest of all of Disney World is located in Orange County. So there's your geographic um, fun fact of the day, week, whatever. Um, okay. So, and it has a sports theme. Pretty clever that All-Star Sports has a sports theme. <laughs> A lot of a lot of effort went into that one. Team full of monkeys working all day on that one. <laughs> all day. Okay, and so as it course carries the um, characteristics of all the value resorts, and what is the uh, uh, let's say it, Brandon? It's yes. trivia time. Okay. Okay, you ready? We'll dim the lights. Here we dim go. The lights. Here we go. What do all five value resorts have in common? Cheerleaders. <laughs> Nope. Nope. That's not the right answer. <laughs> I meant, I meant cheerleading competitions. Not, oh gosh. Not that's very true. Cheer, no. Like they stay for competitions, <laughs> not pervy, creepy cheerleaders. Like there's always cheer competitions there. <laughs> nope. They were canceled. Oh gosh. Um, I give up. What's the answer? Uh, they all have giant 
life or larger than life uh, novelty items on the, all over the resort. Oh, does that make sense? Like, that makes you know, sense. yes. Like, now that so, you say that, there are giant novelty items. The, that carries that theme is carried across all five of the value resorts. So there's your fun trivia of the day. And Brandon failed. Well, you'll be going home with no consolation prize. Have a great week. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need a big. There it is. I hit the right button. That's a Christmas. Carol. Oh Lord. Okay. Um. So let's talk about the, what what these themes are. So they have a they have surfboard bay, the baseball theme grand slam pool, and a football field and a giant football helmet. So that's a couple of things. So let's talk about it. Opened in April 29th, nineteen ninety four. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. You were like thirty six then, weren't you? Eighteen. Maybe so 19, close. Maybe nineteen. I did graduate high school the year before that. Well, wow. now that sounds really old. It didn't sound old when I was growing up. Okay, how can I get out of this? Okay, so the areas are touchdown, touchdown, center court, home run hotel, surfs up, hoops hotel. I did, I just I had to be exclamatory with the touchdown because it had an exclamation point <laughs> behind it. The rest of them I had to read normal, but the first one was touchdown, and then it was oh I could have should have done center court. You then know? Home Run Hotel, Surf's Up, and Hoops Hotel. There are 1,920 rooms, of which zero are suites. And now you have the history? I don't know. If it was, you have the background? The Yeah, the breakdown. There you go. The break dance. The break but, dance. Um, unfortunately, all of those giant novelty items are currently on the way to um, space with the right. 60 oh. new satellites that they just took up there. Okay. That is correct. So let's have fun with this because, um, you know, one of the reasons that I chose this is because Brandon was alluding to the the cheerleading thing. And what's funny is because Disney wasn't as quick out of the gate with um, some COVID restriction stuff, especially all over their property, the Pee Wee football and the cheerleading competitions just signed a multi-year deal to have all that happen on Universal property property and stay of course on universal hotels yeah. so now that february isn't that typically when it is brandon february? yeah usually february early march yeah there was always the peewee football championship so they would come and they would of course play at the uh, espn sports complex and then of course the cheerleading competitions of all ages would be there and so now i do want to say this let's not preface this as yay the parks are going to be busy in february oh no no <laughs> they'll still take a day and go to disney oh, yeah. they're just now staying and having those competitions on universal property yeah yeah so, you'll just eventually now you'll be able to uh go to sleep at midnight uh when you stay at one of these resorts instead of hearing tumbling and cheer practice <laughs> at midnight and then on the wonderful. football field outside yes yes gosh Jeez. It, was, it was years that y'all stayed. Like I remember one year you guys were there and we were at we were next door at music. Yeah. I remember that yeah. happened one we time. We usually when we first started going to Disney, we always stayed. I mean, we don't want to pay a ridiculous amount of money to stay at the hotel we're never at. I mean, back in our younger days, we used to go to the parks for 14 hours. Yes, we so did. We would be, you know, we'd be at the hotel for five hours to sleep. You know, there was no point yeah. to, to pay a ridiculous amount of money to stay at a, you know, a deluxe resort. So we always stayed at All Stars. We liked it. Yeah, we we were definitely a value resort family. For, or a couple for sure. Cause we were like, they, they, I'll use a different three S's to keep our PG rating. But all I, all I need when I go to Disney is a place to sleep, shower and shave. Correct. I'll let you fill in the blanks with the one that I left out. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Let's reimagine here this, um, let's do it. quite dated resort. Um, who wants to go flip a coin? Yeah. Flip it. I'm thinking of a number between one and four. <laughs> hold on, uh, hold on. I haven't actually thought of a number. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, four. Well, thinking of a number between one and ten, I have a number. Go. Seven. That was the freaking number. It's a and, perfect number. Anytime okay. people say think of a number between one and ten, it's ninety percent gonna be seven. Really? I'm that yeah. predictable. That sucks. Okay. All right, take us home. I guess I get to go first. So yeah. This is my idea for the all-star sports resort. Uh, so first off, what I'm going to do is 
and this is again, this could be for another show, but I'm going to, the, the theme of the other two all-stars is going to stay the same. It's just going to be updated so that movies include some newer movies and uh, music includes uh, soundtracks and stuff from the films. So okay. that's, that's what's that's going to happen with those two. They'll just be updated. But my idea for sports is, is this. I am going to retheme it after Pirates of the Caribbean. And here's why. Currently at the All-Star Sports, there are 10 buildings uh, and there are five Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So each oh. movie can have two buildings. So the movies obviously are uh, The Curse of the Black Pearl, um, Dead Man's Chest, uh, At World's End, On Stranger Tides, and Dead Man Tell No Tales. So each of the two buildings are going to be themed after one of these movies. Now, the cool thing about this is we're going to take a little bit from uh, the new Star Wars hotel, and we're actually going to make it an interactive experience. If you think about the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game, and if you've ever been to uh, Great Wolf Lodge, uh, they have stuff you can walk around the hotel and you you sh- you know shoot wands and cards and things like that, and interactive things happen. So because they're going to probably get rid of that stuff in the Magic Kingdom, we're going to move it over to this resort. So I know there was a cool one at Pirates. It was called the Pirates League or the Pirates Journey. And basically what would happen is you'd go around Adventureland and find hidden things. And then when you were done, you got a fast pass to Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're going to move that over there. Uh, So it's going to be really cool. Uh, The pool is going to be, of course, pirate ship uh, shaped. Uh, there's going to be a cool slide. There will also be a plank that you can walk at the pool. Oh, dear. Uh, so that will be the pool. And then the gift shop will be called Davy Jones Locker. Oh, come that's on. Wh- that's where you can buy all of your pirate trinkets. And then the quick service cafeteria slash restaurant will be called the Dead Man's Chest. And you can get all of your food there, just like you can now. Uh, it'll be upgraded. We'll do hamburgers that have the skull and crossbones burned on the top. Uh, we'll do. Dude. You, you can buy chocolate there that's shaped like gold bullion coins. Uh, so it'll be fun. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. Each movie gets two buildings, interactive experience, cool pool, and that's my idea for the the All Star Sports. That's brilliant. It's our show, guys. See you next week. Brandon, where can the people find us online? <laughs> yeah, I did not go into that much detail with mine. You're killing me. Okay, I am going to call you out on one thing. Okay. Did you really create a store and say that they could get their pirate trinkets and not say their pirate treasure? Uh, I did. Really, Brandon? I did. I, I also wanted to say <laughs> they could get their pirate booty. but that, Oh. That may have been taken. Can't do that on this show. Yeah, that may have been taken. We got to keep our PG ratings. That's right, <laughs> Okay, I love. Let me talk about some things that I love. I love the pool idea because those. That's one thing about those the resort, the all star resort pools. They're well. Hold on, let's talk about that. How many pools are at the other? Like, I feel like this resort had more pools than the others. Am I wrong? I think that at the sports, there's the main pool in the middle, uh, and then there are like a well, couple a, of smaller. I think there's a smaller a baseball pad, one, and then there's like a little. I think there's only two pools and a splash pad. I think yeah. that's what they have there. Okay. Cause I, I feel like I remember where's the, where's the pool. What resort has the three caballeros in it? Uh, I think that is, I want to yes. say music. I, yeah, think I, think, at, I think you're right. I think uh, they're at the pool that that's, that has like the, right. the shape, like a piano maybe. Yes. That's music. That's in the back. That's one of the smaller ones. Yeah. Okay. So why I say that is that pool, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Cause I haven't, I've never actually stayed at sports. We've walked through the, through the property, but that pool at music is huge. It's and giant. so if, if there's that kind of space that's available, I mean, these footprints gotta be all the same. So yeah, there would be a massive area for you to do the like pirate ship theme pool we can just literally take the pirate ship out of the tampa bay buccaneer stadium and correct that at the pool and just like, correct tom anytime brady would, someone anytime somebody checks in they fire the cannons <laughs> yes tom brady would <laughs> gladly donate that wouldn't he like i think he, so. he likes disney it's fine yeah yeah um i love your restaurant and shop and your like convenience store what the heck do you call them a convenience store i like your 7-eleven idea shop. it's a gift, <laughs> gift shop. shop thank you 
I thought that was really good. Um, so when we get to mine, mine's going to have oh so much none of those details. <laughs> Didn't think through that. So you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Okay, well done, well, Brandon. Wait, that dude. was that was yeah. really good. Thanks. Okay, for me, I am going to transform it to I think something that has been long overdue and still hasn't happened anywhere yet on property. There's been some events that were themed like this, but definitely not a full-on focus, whether it be a attraction, a ride, a land, and definitely not a hotel. And so I am going to retheme All-Star Sports to a villain's resort. What? So we're going villains. Okay. Oh, so let's right. unpack this. Now here's here's kind of the problem. Um, not the problem, but I, I would definitely take this the hotels, right? So you got the other ones. So it was funny that you you talked about the movies and updating them. I went the other way, oddly mm. enough, because I don't we can't keep we can't call those two all stars and then change this one too. Yes. All star villains isn't gonna work. <laughs> So we got to drop the all-stars across the board. And so what I decided to do was call it Disney's Classic Movies Resort. Okay. So I went the other way. And then Disney's Classic Music Resort. And so, I, man, now I regret not doing it because I would do a whole thing with, like, all the Sherman Brothers music. That's what I – but that's a different show for a different day. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would go villains. Now, like Brandon said, there's 10 hotels, but they're usually – excuse me, 10 buildings, but they're usually grouped in a section of two, and they're T's. They, they, they all look like T's. So I would take that and create five total areas – with it would be focused on five different villains. So my five are in no particular order: Hades from Hercules, Ursula from The Little Mermaid, Cruella Deville from the new movie Cruella, nope, from 101 Dalmatians, <laughs> Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, and Jaffa from Aladdin. So I know that I may have left one of your favorites out. Um, definitely, um, what's the Doctor from Tiana? Doctor Dan. You know what the funny thing is? Like, I've never seen that movie ever. Wait, what? I've never seen that movie. Get out. Thank you, Mary. (laughs) Thanks very much, guys. It's been a pleasure to be part of another Disney podcast. (laughs) Get out 790 miles away. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so those are the ones that I would choose. So now I have to think about the the food in the gift shop. (laughs) Um. That's my story. Back to you, Dan. <laughs> I didn't go that far. I just was like, okay, we'll retheme it, villain. Well, we would definitely make. Um, so it would have to be okay. The the cafeteria, cafeteria, the eatery would still need to be bright and airy and open, just because they're massive uh, areas at the Value yeah. Resorts. They are huge eateries, and so. But I would I would theme the gift shop definitely to maybe like matte black paint all over the walls, and then. Probably like full, like their face graphics, maybe outlined like in big, huge areas, maybe like all four walls in the ceiling. Maybe that, that might be a fun kind of thing. And so, and it was, of course, would be your one stop shop to get anything villains. And I would make it so those are the only places on Disney, that was the only place on Disney property that you could go to get villains exclusive, like merchandise. That would be yes. fun, right? Yeah. And that would bring people to actually see the resort and yeah, make that's a good mad. way to get people to to come visit. Yeah, and then we would do a lot of like when Matthew and I went to Paris, it, we went during Halloween, and obviously that's a big time for villains or for Disney to focus on villains. And I, I had like a hamburger with like a lime green bun. <laughs> it yeah. was just like so it would be you know, we could do fun color like evil colory food and then we could have a villainy like concoction type drinks if that would be but it would be just like whatever maybe a cold sarsaparilla that <laughs> had a, a bubble maker machine in it that doesn't make any sense or an old duels <laughs> yes <laughs> old duels <laughs> Pumpkin flavored because it's Pumpkin you know, flavored. Oh, dude. because the villains are only popular in Halloween. Um, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So that's kind of all I had. Um, I don't know what else I would do. I mean, I think that would be fun. Like I didn't yeah. think about like what we would do. I mean, obviously I would carry the theme 
of the value resorts with having giant, like outside of those buildings would be the giant characters to keep in theme with the rest of the value resorts that are there. Yeah. Um, you know, but like, I think you could do some really fun shapes with like, you could just do fun stuff on the property, right? You could, yeah. the sign would be really kind of cool, you know, at the edge of the property, you could do like weird shaped bushes and funky trees, you know, so you could really, yeah. really theme out the whole resort. And then, but yeah, the, at the, the main pool, I would just have a centerpiece that had kind of like what we talked about with, um, the three caballeros at, at all-star movies, I would have them like this big, where they were all like back to back in a circle. And so like, that would be like the center piece of the pool with maybe like fountains coming out. Yeah. Like maybe Jaf- out their Jafar's eyes. staff. Yes. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, that's all I got, but I mean, while we're here, let's unpack a little bit of like, okay. So you talked about, um, retheming it to more like today movies at the movie resort. Like, so what, yeah. like, just like spitballing off the cuff here. What, what's some of the things that you would choose? I would, I, you know, I would go towards kind of the, the new live action remakes, you know, uh, you know, Aladdin, the lion King, uh, Cruella's coming out. Um, you know, just, just kind of some of their newer stuff. There's a lot of OG classic, uh, stuff sprinkled around the whole Walt Disney world resort. So I think it would be cool just to, to theme it to some of that new, uh, updated stuff. And, uh, for the music, like I just, Disney movies have so such good scores that I think it would be cool just to highlight, you know, like you said, one of the buildings could be the Sherman building and one, you know, just, just things like that. But yeah, I would update it to like newer kind of remake movies just because obviously you're bringing, you, you can't update the the sports to this awesome pirate adventure and leave those things uh, in the eighties. So that's kind of what yeah, I would update it that's to. Fair, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would go classic. Just to, like I said, like just to keep some of the classic classic movies that you know. I mean, I, I mean, I know Toy Story's there. Like, I would definitely that would be a great opportunity for me. I mean, I know they just are doing the the new update to the mighty ducks on Disney plus, but yep. I just feel like that's such an old movie. And I'm sure I know it has its giant fan base, but I mean, I would, I would want to put something like, I mean, what's a beloved classic movie that hardly has any, you know, like love at the parks. You know, I, I would think there's some of those like, yeah. or maybe even take all the ones that well, we can't, I was going to say, take all the ones that have had these remakes, but put them in the animation for, you know, put them yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like true. use the classic ones. Yeah. But then you've already got Lion King that's clearly art of animation has a big Lion King section. So it's hard, man. Like, that's why I just wanted to do one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's uh, when you start going, there's so many hotels at Disney, like to try to reimagine or retheme five or 10 of them is there's just so much. But then you, you think of something and you're like, well, they have that over at this hotel. I mean, right. People get paid at Disney to think of this stuff. You know, we think of it off the cuff. That's right. So. <laughs> we don't but even did... we don't even think of we pointing at myself. We don't even think of like, oh yeah, what would the eating area look like? What would the gift shop be like? Brandon's like, I would do this and call it that, and I'm all like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I mean, I like your villains because I mean, obviously that has been a topic for Walt Disney World for years people you know they had the the villains after hour event uh, and that was crazy popular uh people want a new villains park so i mean it only makes sense that they would take one of those hotels or even build a new one and just make it decked out in villains i think it would be super cool so i think that's a great idea I mean, I, I thought pre-pandemic i thought if disney were to build a fifth gate i i thought that would be their best choice because what it would allow them to do in, in theory, I mean, they could technically do this at any of their parks if they wanted to, but obviously universal's right next door. Sea world's right next door. They have definitely more rides that would cater to teenagers and millennials, right? Or I shouldn't say that 20 somethings, right? So that gap that once they've grown out of the, I'm all in love with Disney animation and they get a little bit older and more daring, you know, there's more of that itch to want to visit those parks down the street versus the straight stay at Disney. And I feel like if 
they were to choose to do a villain's part, they could definitely be a little bit more uh, like grown up with their rides since the theming would be, you know, not that they're not that the (laughs) villains are evil, evil, but I mean, it's more of an like it's definitely more of an older theme when you think of like, you know, they could do more scary rides. They could do more intense attractions. And so. I thought maybe that like if they were to do that, but you know, who who knows if there's even a gate in the near future at all. I mean, you see what they're doing with Disneyland with existing property, but I mean, that's why they wanted the property in Florida. They have so much, there's so much room and and I mean, they own, they own so much land that people don't even realize is owned by Disney. I mean, they could probably build five more gates if they really Mm -hmm. wanted to. So, yeah, I mean, it's not coming anytime soon, thanks to the pandemic. I mean, yeah. they've they lost ridiculous amounts of money, so we're not building a new gate. But I would love to see some sort of villain something come back. Super cool. Yeah. And when you were talking about the more intense attractions, you know, they just opened the Velocicoaster at um, mm. uh, Universal, and all I could think of was the Maleficoaster. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's this cool dark roller coaster after Maleficent. But <laughs> the Maleficent coaster. No one would be able to. It's the Maleficent. It's, Malef- Malef- it's, 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 it's Maleficent's shit. roller coaster. Uh, let's just okay. let's just go to Universal. I can't say it. <laughs> oh man! All right, these are good. This is good. We did all right. I mean, I feel like we left Matthew like just hanging out there. We didn't even say anything that we didn't yeah. have our poor Matthew. So Matthew had. Uh, his wisdom teeth taken out. So there's two things that are happening. One, he's recovering, and two, he's going to have to figure out where he gets his brains back because they just pulled all his wisdom teeth out. <laughs> Dad joke for the Dad win! Dad joke for the win. Um, so, yeah, he'll be back with us um, in a few because... Is anyone looking? We're actually recording multiple episodes tonight. Don't tell him. He thinks he's only missing one. So... Um, when you see the next three without Matthew, he didn't get the boot. <laughs> he, I promise. He just they just pulled all his teeth out and he couldn't talk for a week. There. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right, man. This was good. Uh, hey, right. as yeah, always, uh, please like we want to hear who you liked more. The easiest way to do that is text us at seven five seven five six three four seven four two, or leave us a message on any of our social media. We would love to hear your thoughts of what you would. Reimagineer the All Stars Sports. <laughs> Couldn't even remember what we did. We talked about so much stuff. <laughs> All Star Sports too. And uh, another way to reach out to us is another Diz Podcast at gmail Yeah, that's all and I if got. If you like man. this, if you like this Reimagineer, it make sure you know. Obviously, it is a separate show from our our normal uh, another Disney podcast gig. So make sure that you like this one on YouTube and you subscribe to this one as well. Uh, tell your friends about it. We'd love to get just a big a following on this one as we have on our main show. So yeah. like and subscribe. I think this one is. I I personally have said all along. I feel like this is the show that could really break out, but maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Most people definitely listen to the other show <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, that, that makes sense. That's where we built our audience and that's where we started from. So yeah, but this show's fun and yeah, we would love to have, well, I want to hear other people's ideas. That's I agree. What I'm about. Yeah. Send us ideas. Send, I want somebody to, to be debate. like, we would love to debate your ideas on our show. I want somebody to be like, your ideas were cute, but stupid. Here's mine. <laughs> You should start everything like that. Hey, I loved your ideas. No, I didn't. It was dumb. It Here's was a better stupid. one. Stupid. <laughs> okay, man. We'll see you guys next week. Brandon, thanks for holding down the fort with no Matthew. Yes, indeed. Come back soon, Matthew. Yeah, just less teeth. <laughs> Bicycle. Bicycle.